everybody, what's up? It's McKinsey Chriswell here back with another new tutorial. Today, spinning things in a different direction again. I had a question about my website, and I will never miss an opportunity to brag about my website. So let's do it. So the particular question that this is based off of is a question I had about how I was getting the tutorials from my YouTube channel, uh, this guy right here, uh, onto my website in the uh, like organized fashion that they are. Uh, this guy right here, uh, just like tiles with the tutorials displayed, like the thumbnail, and like all the tutorials are listed here. And also, if you go to like the tutorial page, you can like click on the software that we're using and uh, see all of the tutorials that uh, use that particular software uh, and also I guess in some sense here on like the home page of my site it displays some of the recent tutorials as well uh, but what we're focusing on is this bit right here on the tutorial page uh, and if I may say so myself, this is a handy little trick I have discovered uh, to make this thing happen. So let's jump into this uh, inside of the Squarespace editor. I'm using Squarespace for my site. I've mentioned this before. I like their stuff. So uh, let's jump into the pages here. And you can see immediately that uh, my tutorials, uh, all of my tutorials have their own uh, page. So let's go ahead and go to that page. And what you'll see here. Uh, is we, we've got the same page with the tutorials, of course. Uh, and if we click edit on the page, what you will see is we have a summary block uh, organizing all of these tutorials. Uh, and uh, if you've used Squarespace a lot, you've already figured out what I'm doing here, but uh, let me just walk through it for everyone else. Uh, so what I've got here is just a title saying all my tutorials and then this summary block uh, and so let's go ahead and set this up on a new page. Uh, but what's important here is that all of my tutorials themselves are actually set up uh, in a blog, uh, much like the blog that's on my actual website. Uh, what I have here is a blog, and each of my tutorials has its own individual post. And so every time I do a new tutorial, I create a blog post and then because of the template that I'm using on my site here, uh, it, it, it actually lays it out really, really nicely and just makes it look like I put a lot more work into it than I actually did. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a new blog post for uh, this tutorial that I'm recording right now. So I'll go ahead and click plus up here to do a new blog post. And the way that I would normally set this up is I'll go ahead and put in the title. Uh, so I'll do... Um, Squarespace, uh, let's see, what do we call this tutorial? Squarespace summary block tutorial. Uh, okay, looks nice. Uh, and and I add a category, and with the category, I just put the software or whatever that the tutorial is about. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna create a new category for Squarespace. And okay, so the other thing we would need is I would usually type a description for the tutorial here, uh, and I'll do that later. So let me just make a note, write something here. Uh, that'll help me remember. So we'll go ahead and save this right now, just as a draft. Okay, so we've got this uh, draft saved, and there's two things that we need uh, to get this the way that I have it set up. We need a thumbnail, uh, which I have somewhere. Uh, I have a thumbnail right here on my desktop, and we also need a video, which I have my most recent demo reel. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump back in here and edit this uh, and get everything we need in there to get it set up. So uh, with thumbnail, uh, what we want to do is come over to options here. We want to upload that thumbnail image. So let's go ahead and click add an image. Uh, okay, and then make sure we're on our desktop and grab this Squarespace tutorial uh, PNG. This is actually just a screenshot that I grabbed before I started recording, uh, but we'll give it a second to upload. Okay, and then once we have this thumbnail uploaded, we'll come back over here to the content section. We'll click up here and we want to add a video block here. And uh, okay, we'll go ahead and set that custom thumbnail to upload and we'll use the same thumbnail. Uh, that's not actually necessary, it's just something that I like to do. 
And uh, we also need a URL. So, oh, here it is. Uh, so I'll just click share and get the link. Where is it? There it is. Copy that. And we'll come back over here and go ahead and paste the video URL in here. Uh, this will accept like Vimeo and YouTube and I think maybe a few other video services. I'm sure there's a list somewhere if you Google it. Okay, and we have it all set up. Okay, so now that we have this set up, uh, actually uh, creating the tutorial page is fairly quick and simple. So what we'll do is I'll just uh, create another new page down here, not linked. Uh, and uh, we'll just call this like some gibberish. Um, see what I did there? <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click edit and we get like some uh, Italian, is this Italian? No, it's Latin text uh, by default. And we'll just change this to all tutorials, to all tutorials, uh, make it like a header font, center it up. And here is the cool part. So what we want to do is we want to add the summary block now. And so we'll go ahead and click here. And underneath summary, there's a few different blocks. Uh, and these are actually really cool. Uh, but the one that I'm using on this particular tutorial page is the grid summary block. And if we go ahead and click here, what this will allow us to do is import data from a blog and I, I guess use it to display that in those posts uh, in a lot of different ways. Uh, so let's go ahead and just click on the tutorial blog and instantly we get a great list of some of our tutorials. Uh, the most recent one that we just created isn't there because I did not hit publish, obviously. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, but let's go ahead and set some things up. So first let's increase the column width so these are a little bigger. Okay, uh, we'll change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Uh, I think I lowered the gutter width a little bit. Made it like 40. Okay. And we'll align the text in the center for this. And, okay. And then we'll come over here to display. And I'll change the metadata from the date that this was posted to the category. And since I've added the software as a category, we now have the title of the tutorial and the software that we're using. Uh, and for whatever reason, the thumbnails aren't loading right now, but we'll also have the thumbnails. We do have a problem right off the bat that I want to point out. Uh, so if we come over to display, you can see that we can only display a max of 30 posts here or 30 items here. So... Uh, my tutorials, because I have, uh, how many tutorials do I have? Uh, I have 38 uh, tutorials. Uh, what you'll notice is, at some point, the tutorials cut off. Uh, so, the way I see it, there's two solutions here. Uh, one is to just use this to display your most recent tutorials. And uh, honestly, I didn't really like that solution, so I came up with another one. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll come back into uh, the block selector, I guess, and we'll grab another grid summary block connected to tutorial. We'll do layout 16 by 9, uh, increase all of this. We'll just get it to look the same as it already does. And if we scroll down to the bottom of this display category, what you'll notice is a handy little button down here called the featured filter. And if we click this, and now what you'll notice is I have all of my tutorials displayed. They no longer cut off here at this futuristic light streak tutorial. We get uh, the other, what, uh, seven tutorials here? Okay, maybe I have 37 tutorials. Uh, and just really quickly, the way that we set the, the way that I actually set this up, uh, <clears throat> very, very neat trick, uh, is just selecting the older blog posts. Uh, so for example, this is my first blog post. Uh, the first tutorial uh, in the form of a blog post. And if you come over here to options, what you'll see is another one of these featured boxes. So you just want to make your older tutorials featured posts. And they will display underneath the new ones. Now, you do want to be careful with this because with some of the Squarespace templates, uh, featured blocks or featured posts have their own place. 
and and so you just want to be careful this will work with some templates it won't with others it's 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 a trick really is what it is it's an illusion uh, but with this particular trick in theory what we can do is instead of only being able to display 30 tutorials uh, we can display up to 60 and, and don't get me wrong this is better uh, you know 60 versus 30 is obviously twice as good uh, but it's still not what I would like uh, so little call to action at the end here I did contact Squarespace support uh, and I was talking to them about this and they said it, it is a feature that they're thinking about uh, releasing so if anyone else wants this feature as well or wants to help me get it uh, for my site uh, you can uh, contact Squarespace support as well uh, and let them know, hey, I, 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 I want to be able to do the uh, unlimited tutorial lists or whatever. And uh, hopefully we can uh, make it happen. And uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, if you liked it uh, feel free, or, or want me to do more Squarespace tutorials, uh, feel free to let that be known in the form of liking or commenting or whatever. I'm going to ever so subtly and ever so subtly put uh, my snapchat information on the screen it's the same thing it's the same thing uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, anyways uh, feel free to like and comment and uh, subscribe check out all the other videos on my YouTube channel uh, or hit up my website at macc.co there will be a card I'll see you next time